answer. Because you are that, you are capable. You are gifted and you are so unique. All of the things that you may hate about yourself are your strengths. It's okay to be soft. It's okay to be opinionated. It's okay to be different. And it's so okay to just be you. The world awaits to receive you. Beyonce and Jay-Z will do anything to destroy anyone who speaks out against them. Okay, I get the threats, but you have to remember one thing. I know your deepest secrets. I know so much about you and what you've done. I know so much on how you got what you are, how you stepped on the many people Beyonce, how you guys ended Carrie Hilson's career because she said something about you. That's how hateful you guys are, how you step on anybody to stay on the top. So remember, your relationship was a business relationship, financial, to get to the top, to, be, be, to become billionaires. Beyonce and Jay-Z will do anything to, they did for you to get you to the top. All them writing for you. And then the minute you get a little taste of success, you wrote them off. You just totally said, I don't know. Say you don't know me. I dare you. I dare you. Remember, all the receipts, all the proof, the old school footage. I still have it. See, probably nobody knows, but I say, man, yeah, Beyonce's on drugs. She's been on them for a long time, and you keep her that way. Y'all wish it what you wish it to stay on top. But there's one thing about me, bro. I can't be born. They did for you. Beyonce's former bodyguard, Uncle Ron, has come out saying that he believes Beyonce and Jay-Z are evil, are responsible for the demise of other artists, such as Kerry Hilson. He's saying Blue Ivy is not Jay-Z's child, and Beyonce and Jay-Z would do anything to stay to the top, including worshipping other things. Also mentioned that P. Diddy offered him 30000 to get rid of B.I.G. Do you believe Uncle Ron? This is some heavy stuff. What do you think about this power couple? Do you think it's all just an act and just a business agreement? Do you think that Beyonce is on drugs and is something more sinister going on? Let me know. Don't be dead. I was offered thirty thousand dollars to perform a hit on Biggie Smalls. March first of nineteen ninety seven, I was approached by Diddy to perform a hit on one of his artists. Finding out that he wanted all the rights to all his catalogs. I turned him down because I also found out that very night that Biggie had plans of leaving Bad Boy. Biggie should have never been in California to prom promote an album with a broken fibula bone who can barely walk. To go to another studio 
when Diddy has his own studio in New York. Diddy is pure evil. He has a very nasty disposition. He treats everybody like crap. Every single employee he's ever had. He and his mother have looked down on them, belittled them, talked to them like they were the lowest scum on the earth. So he could always have his way. Amar, Muhammad, and Suge Knight, or Amir, they took the blame for something that was already getting ready to be in motion. It just happened at an earlier time because on the ninth, Biggie was taken out. And I'm so glad to this day that I refuse to do that. So under investigations and working and cooperating with FBI, my story is being told. There's so much more that we're gonna talk about with Diddy. To destroy anyone who speaks out against them. Okay, I get the threats, but you have to remember one thing. I know your deepest secrets, I know so much about you and what you've done. I know so much on how you got where you are, how you stepped on the many people. Beyonce, how you guys ended Carrie Hilson's career because she said something about you. That's how hateful you guys are. How you step on anybody to stay on the top. To remember, your relationship was a business relationship, financial, to get to the top, to be, be to become billionaires. There's no love there. See, what's done in the dark will definitely come in the light. Keep your threats up. I'm here today, and what I got to say, I'm going to say it. So don't 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 make idle threats to me. I say I ain't Biggie. Say I ain't Beanie Seagulls. I ain't Freeway. How you you roll all of them off the minute they did for you to get you to the top. All of them writing for you, and then the minute you get a little taste of success, you wrote them off. You just totally said I don't know. Them. So you don't know me. Financial accounting number. Your job is to buy the records. To buy the magazines. To watch that artist on TV. To hear that artist on the radio. That's your job as a fan. You are the important role to a financial growth, a form of power. A lot of you will never understand that because you are a fan. And you will defend that artist. By all means, you will defend them not ever knowing exactly who they are. You only know what you heard. Most of you will never accept the truth about that artist because one, that artist will never care about you. I say, don't know. They know that you're part of their point system, that you're a part of a financial account number. Fame. That's all you are nothing more so don't tell me 
or ask me why I say this about a child, why I say this about them. Because I understand, I know I've been in the industry too many years. There are certain things I don't go against the grain on. But me telling the truth, oh yeah, I'm going to tell. Because it's my story. I'm not speaking negative on that artist. Because that artist is in business to make that money, that fame, that popularity. And they're going to do this for you. That fame. So, don't think that the family don't know. I've said what I've said. I've heard from them. They're fine with it. You're the one that's uncomfortable. Stay uncomfortable. I try to answer as many questions as I possibly can. So many people have asked me about the NDA. Years ago, I owned my own company, my own firm. I had almost 200 people that worked under me. The artists work for a different company. The artists work for a production company, a film company, a label. My obligations, my signature went for the production company or for the label not for the artists. I've been fully retired. I sold my company years ago. For a great price to a friend. The only group or individuals that I can't speak on is a group called Gente de Sona. We are almost 10 years now apart where I can say what I want to say, but they already know. They have already have given me permission to say whatever I need to say. Now, the thing about it is I'm talking about experiences that I have witnessed, that I have seen, that I was a part of. I can't talk about myself all of a sudden. I can't talk about people that were with me or that I was with. I have six attorneys. It's been clear. I know for a fact what I can and cannot talk about. I'm comfortable. People ask me, well, you, you need security of your own. I'm fine. And no, I'm not looking for money. When I sold my company, I sold my company for $6.8 million. I've been owning a building in New York City since I was 16. I have a company, real estate, finances. Those things don't excite me. So me looking to be sued by somebody because I'm saying what has happened in my life. I'm not worried about it. Please, don't worry about your Uncle Ron. I'm fine. The thing is, I worry about you being happy in life. That's more important to me. Take care. Uh, I got some busted ribs. I got plenty of bruises. Oh, head's killing me. Oh, my leg may be busted. I got jumped. Oh, man, that was a terrible, terrible incident. I tried my best to fight back. I just couldn't do it. It's hard to breathe. But I promise you, I'm going to get those mosquitoes that beat me up. 
Lord, help me. Y'all don't even worry about praying for me. Just kill the mosquitoes. I appreciate it. This is Uncle Ron. Viva la mosquitoes. Would you like to learn a brand new and innovative way to invest your extra money that has a low barrier to entry and low competition? What if I told you that it is a guaranteed method to get up to 18 to 20% return on your investment? Tax lien and deed purchasing is the only way to get into the real estate market through the back door. No credit and no loans needed. This method isn't commonly taught and therefore the competition is very low for now. Put together a 14 hour info packed course which will teach you everything you'll need to know to get started. Learn at your own pace, step-by-step, -step, guided video and aids to start you on the TLC deed investment process. The course offers many learning tools for new investors, helping ensure you safely invest in tax liens and deeds. Contact us today and join the buyback team.